And this is another Florida motor that came from a, from a boat repair place in Brandon. And when we got it, it didn't show a lot of use in salt water, which is unusual for around here, but the swivel was stuck and somebody had tried to move it, broke the tiller handle off. How do you think they tried to move the tiller? Well, with both hands, and because it was stuck, they broke this part off here, trying to pull it back and forth. The swivel is in here, and they very often see. I thought up. lots of times people would put a pipe on the end yeah. of this and, and then that's bust it off, right? Too. So that's an example of what not to do, right? There you go. Never put a pipe on the end of the tiller. Well. They broke this, they broke the, snapped the saddle. And that's very common with these motors, these five and a half, seven and a half series. In order to fix that, you have to fix it properly. You have to take the, pretty much the whole power head and the, off the lower unit and take the exhaust housing all apart bigger job than meets the eye. So this is another one that has an external gas tank. Yes. And What's the advantages to having an external gas tank? Well, you can carry more gas. It's a four gallon tank as opposed to the ones on top of the motor which are usually three or four gallons a pressure system which is original to the motor. You better put the cap on here. Didn't you say this color of Johnson has gotten real collectible? This particular color is considered by some folks. Most desirable of them. Okay. 